you can only have one per spell book. So since I opened one, and I ordered one, I've decided to do a giveaway. Hello everybody, and it is Friday! My giveaway is over, and as you can see right here, I reached the 150 view mark. So, everyone who liked, comment, subscribe, is entered to win a Sam Sinclair. First edition, Obnoxious 9. Yeah. Alright, so I went through, there are 31 entrants. Uh, I went ahead and gave Mario here a spot because he comment he replied to a comment which is technically commenting so I don't want to hear anybody say anything about him and I looked um, most of y'all are subscribed there's a few private people which I'm gonna assume they're subscribed because yeah all right so I have all the names right here oh, let me all right, so there are 31 people. Good luck, everyone. Let me get the wheel. I already have it all put in. 31 entrants. Uh, yeah. So I am going to probably turn the volume down because uh, I spun the wheel a minute ago and it is loud. So this might be muted. Don't know. Might just turn the volume down. All right, here we go. I am going to spin the wheel, whoever it lands on. Good luck, everyone. Mellow X Yellow. Woo, let's see what comment they had. Let's see what they said. Almost there, just a little bit more, I need this card. Right there, that's the comment that won. Congratulations, though. Alright. Um, I'll probably be doing more giveaways in the long run. But for right now, I'm gonna calm down on it. Edit my videos, get them put out, open more stuff, who knows. Y'all have a good night and enjoy. I want to uh, do something I don't think anyone's done yet. And right here, I have a Tripodero. I know, it's Tripodero, but I'm going to call him Tripodero from now on. Anyway, um, common card. It has, I can't, I don't know if you can see, but it has some damage on the back. Yeah, I don't think that's showing up on camera. But the, um... Started peeling away right here. So I want to do a few things to this card. Oop, shaking the camera. First, I want to crease it on purpose. We're gonna just fold it, see how that is. Ooh, it's all dark. Alright, I want to see how it looks like creased. Okay, so, uh, very clear white crackle line, both sides. Okay. So you can't fix a crease. Let's do a bend test. Uh, does not go back to how it was. Ooh. <laughs> so you can see it's still really bent. As opposed, I mean, you can get it back to where it was. Alright, so, uh, now let's do a rip. Oh, that's a gray, like a really gray core of the cardstock. Alright, so rip test. First edition cards have gray cord stock. Alright, sorry Mr. Trapadero. Alright, something else I wanted to talk about is I've been buying a few cards on eBay. And I ended up buying this card. Now, 
what is it called? It's a gold standard grading. I am on the wall about them, of course, because, you know, everybody knows the big two, and then there's a bunch of other startup ones recently, I believe. But uh, I got this at very close to the value of the actual card, so I'm not upset about the purchase in the least bit. But having it with that 10, uh, I think it's going to be good, hopefully, long term. And it does look good, like I've looked at it, the centering looks really good, but I don't know, I'm not professional, so I kind of think it's a little bit bigger over here, but I'm not measuring or anything. Uh, the one thing I don't like about the cases is there's it's not put into a plastic sleeve. So if I was to shake it really hard, the card moves side to side because it's not a complete perfect fit. I don't think I can. The lighting's got it to where it's a little too dark. But um, maybe I can put it in a good spot. Try and zoom in right here. Because the card's over here and there's a gap. Anyway, alright, so I got that. Oh, 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 almost forgot. We're gonna do Usagi, or we're gonna use Usagi. And I got a little present for Rudy. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let me get that out of here. I won't be able to put my cards down. I still want to get that priestess. So, if, as soon as I get that priestess, I'm uh, gonna chill on opening these. So, yeah. But right now, I just want to open one. Let's see, this one's dented more right here. Alright. I like making that void go. Yeah, void. Void, void. Oh, it does. The last one I did didn't stick. Alright, we'll open those. And we get. Yay! First try. Holy yeah! So I don't have to open the other one. That means this video can go quicker. Which box did I get? Bat Squatch! There's no coin in there? I thought there was a coin in here. Maybe that's the spell books. Alright, so we're gonna put these in here. So, I'm uh, very happy with that. Ah. Alright, so... Let's open these three. <laughs> All right. Reverse Salem's Witch. She's an uncommon, right? Yeah. Silver and Dark Aura. All right. Hopefully, I get something decent out of these three packs. Hey, Chibi Moth Man. I like the idea of chibi cards to round out the common section. Hey, Uncle Sam! Uh, that's an obnoxious nine I do not have. I believe he's an obnoxious nine. Correct me if I'm wrong. Light Aura. Also, um, I've been trying to pick up some Lightning Aura box toppers. Um, I, I like how they look, and uh, whether I make the deck or not that I want, or I don't know if I'd use the box toppers, but I mean, I'll definitely sleeve and case and all that junk, but I just, I like the way they drew lightning in this game. And Matlocks, oh, another water aura. So yeah, um, you know what? 
I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here.